What's up guys, Baker here, coming at you with a tutorial. Yeah, uh, today we got a basic title plate kind of thing, and uh, what that means is uh, you can do stuff like this. So, you got this little, you know, it comes in, and it's got this little like line and text, and it goes to the guy. And I just want to show you this the original clip really quick. I thought it was pretty funny. Yeah, I just run off and then I die. I thought that was funny. Anyways, let's uh let's get into it. So uh basically you're gonna have um a clip, right? And um I have it already going and it twixters. And so that's pretty cool. And what you want to do is, uh, we're going to make this entirely in After Effects, no Photoshop or anything like that. Uh, we're going to make a new composition, and we call this uh, Title Plate. Okay. And uh, we'll just go ahead and type our text. So I'll say, Baker Presents, and I'll choose a different font. Let's do uh, Typograph Pro. It's like two hundred dollars font. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh well make it a little bit smaller, maybe like yeah, that should be fine. So we got our text, right? <coughs> okay, now <coughs> now we need to make that line, so we'll go ahead and just make a new light uh new solid and we'll make it white and then we'll just go down to the scale settings, unchink, unlink this uh whatever it is. Sorry. And just scale this down to about 0 0.5 works well for me. And scale down the, uh, the x value to squeeze it that way. And then just line it up right there. Maybe, maybe 50. Alright, okay. And uh, duplicate that. So Command or Control D. Push S for scale and scale this down a little bit smaller. So we got this little piece. And depending what side your guy is on or what side you want your title, we're going to rotate it. I want to rotate mine about 20 degrees. And then just kind of line this up to that side over there. And make it as accurate as you want. Up to you guys. Um, okay, now we're just going to make our little tiny text. And for this, I'm going to use Bank Gothic at a uh, size of about 15, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and type some gibberish. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, so. Looks like a bit too much, but then uh, I'll just copy it. Hit return, paste. Hit return, paste. Make that a little bit smaller. And uh, we want this to align to the right side. So, control or command A to highlight everything and go down to paragraph and align to right side. So thing will scoot over just like that pretty nice and that's about it so what you want to do is in your composition with your clip and uh, go ahead and just copy the color correction if I can find it there it is and color correction and I gave this away so don't be asking for this it's my magic bullets giveaway anyways We'll go and find our title plate composition, drag that in, and now we get our own little uh, title thing. And uh, we're going to scale it down a little bit, and it seems like it's really hard to see. So we can either just fill it to, to make it black, or uh, a neat little trick that I learned is make a new adjustment layer. And go ahead and uh, search invert, channel invert. And that inverts everything, but put the title plate above the adjustment layer. And go to adjustment layer, um, track mat, set it to alpha mat. And what that does is it'll use the alpha channel of the title as the adjustment layer. So wherever this is, it'll always be inverted, which means it'll always show up no matter what color it is. See, up here it's black, but down here it's white. So that's pretty cool. And uh, we'll just scale this down. Maybe 75%? Maybe 50. I don't know. Yeah, probably 50. It's up to you guys, but we'll just scoot that in right about here. Actually, we'll boost that up. Sorry, 75%. 
And uh, since this is a, a pretty slow clip with uh, Twixter and stuff, I'm not going to do any motion tracking. We'll do that for another tutorial, but we'll just use two, uh, two keyframes for the position. So set a keyframe, move forward, and just set this down. I'm tracking his, uh, his shoulder right here, so kind of follows him. That's cool. And uh, to fade this in, or kind of bring this in, I'm going to use CC Lens. CC Lens on the title plate. Okay, make sure this is, uh, the size is all the way up. Make sure the center is in the center of the title. So, right there. So, we'll set the size down to zero. Keyframe, move forward about half a second, and... Bring that up. You know. So, there you go, and this little neat little uh, thing we got there. And that's about it. Simple little title plate. Uh, next time, which I'll do in uh, about 30 minutes, but won't release it, I'm going to be doing this example where it's like a 3D title plate. And uh, this is pretty interesting. Check this out. You know. So, if you look carefully, it's got this like 3D parallax kind of thing. Pretty cool. But that's about it. All inside of After Effects. Um, if you want to make a little clip thingy, send it as a video response. I'll check it out. People will check it out. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Check out my other tutorial. No, not tutorial. Other channel for tutorials. Because uh, I can't get partnered on this channel yet. So I'm trying to go for a partnership on that channel. Check it out. Baker's Tuts. Um, yeah, have fun guys. Peace.